News Today, brought to you by the Admiral Corporation, makers of Admiral Radio, America's smart set. By shortwave broadcast, direct from important overseas stations, as well as leading news centers of our own country, CBS correspondents are waiting to bring you a complete report from the world's political and battlefronts. But first, here's Doug Edwards. German elite troops have been thrown into the Battle of the Bridgehead below Rome today, and Allied forces have fallen back two miles to adjust their lines. American heavy bombers have smashed the German airfields in France for the second day in a row. And on the Russian front, Soviet units are reported nearly 100 miles beyond the pre-war Polish frontier. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit about the radio system and communication system I have set up here. This is a World War II radio receiver. It's part of Radio Set SCR-284. This particular unit right here is a BC-654, part of Unit SC-284. It's a uh, radio transmitter and receiver. I've got a station coming in just barely tonight from... Uh, it's coming in from Miami, Florida. Um, but, irregardless, um, let me tell you just a little bit about the radio. Receiver section, transmitter section, um, works off a T117 microphone. It has a J48 telegraph key here to, when you're on CW mode, to transmit Morse code. Currently, I have it tied into a remote control unit, RM29A, which allows the radio to be patched through through a switch here. I can patch it through right through a telephone handset, which also allows it to come through the telephone switchboard here, which is a BD-71, so I can transmit whatever's coming through the radio or receive whatever's coming through the radio through any of the field telephones I have hooked up. And additionally into that, I also have a TG-5B telegraph set wired into the whole system. Flip this back off over here. Kind of sounds like we're losing our signal tonight. But it is a fully functioning system. Everything seems to be working pretty good on it. Runs off 12 volt power supply. In here it has a PE-104A power supply unit that converts power from this you can see it down there that big thing down there is a dynamo and that supplies the power to the radio when it's in transmit mode so if I transmit with the handset let it go dynamo goes off go to transmit dynamo comes on supplies the necessary 500 volts for transmission Pretty cool system. I'm still working on it. Still trying to figure out all the ins and outs of it. I have it wired up temporarily with a temporary antenna, so I can get a little extra signal. That's just a little overview of the radio system.